Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the north. More specifically, Jefferson, New Hampshire. Even more specifically than that, I'm in front of Santa's Village, New Hampshire. To make that distinction, there are several places called Santa's Village. Um, I've been here, I visited here a couple years ago, but I wanted to stop back by here because they have completely redone their dark ride. Uh, I also just want to check out the general park. I loved this park last time I was here, so we'll do a little walk around to the park and check out that new dark ride. So please, follow me. Just come over here and say hello to Rudolph. How are you doing today, Rudolph? I'm good, how are you? Pretty good. Awesome. I was wanting to check out the the humbug ride. I heard that they, 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 that it's new. They they've improved it. Yeah, it's super fun now. Is it? Of course. Awesome. Can't wait to see it. I'm glad you guys came. Well, you have a you have a good day, Rudolph. You too. Thank you. Bye. That's awesome. <laughs> Love the trash can here. You just tip up his top hat and shove the trash into his brain. These are actually really cool. I did this last time I was here. You do almost like a scavenger hunt. You gotta find all the elves. Each one has a name that starts with a different letter. And you get a punch card, and you punch the card at each elf. Uh, I'm not gonna try to redo it again today because it's, it's, it's actually pretty intense. There's a lot of elves. But uh, check out my last video where I hunt down every single elf. I like it when parks take the time to theme their restrooms. Here we have the North Bowl. Of course, the mayor of Santa's village is uh, is a penguin wearing a monocle. You can see the sleigh ride that cruises over top Santa's village. And here it is, the Great Humbug Adventure. So very excited about this. I visited in 2019 and I got to ride the very interesting humbug adventure but they actually very shortly after I left completely renovated it. It was actually renovated by the Sally Corporation who make a lot of dark rides for independent parks and I actually got to see the props being made, the, the, um, the, the Scrooge animatronic, the uh, new humbugs, of course, I, they were generous enough to allow me to film them being constructed. I just wasn't allowed to say in the video what ride they were going to, but I think now I can I can reveal that. So very excited. I got to see, got to ride it before before it was changed. Got to see the change in in progress, and now we get to ride the new Great Humbug Adventure. It's very interesting here in the ride too because while it is based on Scrooge, Ebenezer Scrooge. The humbugs in question are actually insects. All right, heading inside. See this old carriage? Must belong to Scrooge. And here's the man himself. Scrooge. He's got his bug sprayer there to uh, zap the humbug. Scrooge actually blasts us. It's compressed the air out of his. They're mischievous flying warrants who can make a person miserable even at Christmas time. But I know how to fix that. It's just that there are so many humbugs everywhere in my house. Alright, so we gotta help Scrooge kill all the humbugs. You can help. Yes. Scrooge says hats and sunglasses must be removed. Joe, so you got your little gun there to shoot the humbugs. Heading into uh, Scrooge's mansion there. Got our blaster ready to take out the humbugs. See the. Oh no, they're completely infesting this place. Oh, we're gonna shoot them. Okay, got one. Oh yeah, such a bizarre creature. Okay, see the big red dot? That's where I'm shooting. 
Maybe that is that is that screwed to the child? Or where are we going here? Oh no! These humbugs are really, really messing the place up. See one coming out of the fireplace there, one hanging there from the chandelier. Oh my gosh. I think we're going to the Scrooge's study here. Oh no. Oh no, come on. Oh. See the globe right there. Oh, they've ruined, they've ruined Scrooge's dinner there. Just blast them. Come on, you no good humbugs. Is that his right, is that Scrooge's writing does? Oh, no wonder Scrooge is so grumpy. This giant insect. Oh, there he is. There's Scrooge. Oh, you sprayed me. Careful. Spray the humbugs, not me. Oh, there's musical humbugs here. On the piano. They hit him, they play the piano. They giggle when you, they giggle when you shoot them. There's this there's Jacob Marley. Oh, this kitchen is infested with humbugs. Oh, my aim is not so great. We're out in the garden here. All right. What's this? Oh. Oh, Scrooge. Scrooge is happy now that all the humbugs are gone. So yeah, very interesting dark ride there. Um, it has kind of the classic Sally shooting guns, but sort of a offbeat concept as well. So uh, let's uh, let's ride one more time and see if I can shoot a few more bugs. Oh, I didn't even notice. First go around, there's actually a humbug coming up out of the horse stable. I guess he just he just zapped it. Oh, careful, careful, Scrooge. He almost zapped me with bug poison. And remember, bug, bug poison is also people, people poison. Where'd that humbug go? All right, heading back in. I'm gonna try to shoot every humbug this time. Let's blast them. All right. Oh, don't wanna shoot the baby picture of Scrooge. Just keep blasting them. I'm working on my score here. Competitive uh, humbug hunter here. Gotta start blasting as soon as the door opens. There's one in the fireplace. He's hard to hit. Oh. All right, let's see. Nauseous giggling. All right. Let's see if we can. Oh, I missed all of those. Oh, no good humbugs. Ooh. Oh, Scrooge. Oh, but, I mean, there's one in the shower. I don't know how to get him to. Well, there we go. We shot him. We unveiled. We shoot him. They make their music noise. That one's playing the kazoo there. Oh, there's the Jacob Marley painting just changed. So yeah, you can you can shoot the humbugs to create certain environmental effects. But yeah, it takes a lot of skill to hit them though. So yeah, you shoot the uh, bathroom one, you shoot the right one, the bathtub opens. You shoot the right one and the Marley picture opens. I got 20, 20, 25,000 points. And there we have it. Once again, we have saved Christmas. Here we have Poogie Penguins Spin Out Coaster. Yes. 
see they're rotating as they coast along. There are a few children screaming. But... Pick our penguin here. This one looks good. Here we go, heading backwards on this Poogie, Poogie Penguins spin out coaster. I think we're gonna, oh, we're gonna start spinning here. There's a little spin going on as we plummet backwards. Let's see, go forward here for a second. Hello. All right. Oh, there we go. There we go, plunging down the, oh. oh. Lady Warren, if you're not careful, you can hit your head on the penguin. So you gotta lean back so you don't hit the penguin. Oh my gosh. Diz, diz, dizzying experience. I think we're plummeting again down here. A little curve, it's a short track, but you go around, you go around multiple, oh my gosh. Multiple times, so you spin. Going on the drop here. Up. Are we coming back to the back to the station? Maybe. Nope, not back to the station. Doing one more. Oh, yeah, we are rolling, rolling back to the station. How are you doing today there, Yulio? We're over here at the Yule Log Flume. Oh, that's creative, the Yule Log Flume. And actually, we go this way to watch the splashdown. If you don't, if you're not interested in riding and just want to watch mayhem, head over this way. Oh, flumes building up some steam there. So we walk to the end of the pathway here to see the final splashdown. Here they come. They, they all just declared they were not wet, so this rate's very low on the sogginess scale. Here on the uh, carousel, every figure is Rudolph. I guess maybe they thought to put reindeer and then they realized that every kid wants to sit on Rudolph. Maybe the kids would fight over being the one to sit on Rudolph, so they said, we'll solve this problem and just make every deer Rudolph. Here's Mr. Maddie the elf. He looks like he is a mathemagician. Says here you must be at least a toddler to enjoy this ride. So babies find this very unamusing. All right, we're gonna hop aboard the Skyway sleigh. It's kind of a monorail type ride. Kind of a miniature monorail. The travels over top the entire park. And our chariot awaits. And the magic words are up, up, and away. Very good. All right. We are cruising in our own personal sleigh over top of Santa's village. Something about riding a monorail, something about that single rail just makes a nice, relaxing, enjoyable ride. You can see the SS Peppermint Twist there over to our left as we glide through the beautiful New Hampshire forest tops. Flying high up here next 
to the schoolhouse there, the Full of Dickens bookshop. There we can see the Great Humbug Adventure. Well, we can't see it anymore because this tree just, just jumped in the way. Oh, but there it is. There's the Humbug Adventure. There's the Burgermeister Food Court. Probably named after Burgermeister Meister Burger from, uh, what movie is that? Santa Claus is Coming to Town, I think, the claymation one. And here we head back into the station. It's a cupcake chair. Imagine what it would feel like to just like sit down in that much frosting. I bet it would feel gross. So let's see, what are the rules here? Climbing is permitted, but no higher than the mitten. All right, so we can climb the snowman. We gotta stop at the mitten. You just sit here all day. It's actually really hot. Uh-oh, Fournier here. About to chuck a giant snowball in her face. Here we have a si simulator on how Santa drops down the chimney. Oh! Oh! Apparently he does it. Oh! In, in little little bursts. Oh, there. Finally made it to the bottom. Here we have the North Pole itself. It's actually just a pole. I've seen a lot of antique car rides. I think this may be the only one that has a fjord in it. You see them going down into the into the blue fjord there. Huh. Have a elf placed precariously on top of this gas pump here. Yeah, I can't pass up a chance to go through a fjord. So we're gonna hop on the cars here at the flying reindeer. Filling station. Cruising along in the antique car here. Really, really can't wait to do that fjord. Uh oh, moose crossing. But uh, let's have a tow truck there. This actually controls a little better than a lot of the antique cars at different amusement parks. bubbles there coming out of the car wash the clean car but oh no time for that now we got the we got to fjord this lake splash down and through this is called cold nose notch it says prevailing crosswinds oh there actually is fans blowing blowing on us as we go through here Police headquarters. Police car there. We gotta watch our speed with the police car. Into the Kringle car wash. Oh, to the bubbles. There's got misted. Yay, bubbles. This right here is known as the Pixie Mix. Going around two times. If you guys need to get off or any reason, give us a big thumbs up at either the Hilton Station or the Station. If we get a thumbs down at the station, it will be too late. You have to stick around around it. Please hold on to any of the items, pass our bosses close, whatever it may be. Please keep your arms there, feet inside the person around all the time. With that being said, guys, are you guys ready? Yeah. That was decent, guys, but I know we can do a little better. I said, are you guys ready? Yeah. Rapid Rudy's Transit. It's a Rudolph themed roller coaster. Hey, 
you're heading up the lift hill here on Rudy's Rapid Transit. Oh, big drop here. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh. 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 The drop here. I feel, like I feel like I almost hit my head on the other side of the track. into a spiral. Oh my God. Uh. Wow. Now, most people may not believe me, I feel like these type of roller coasters are the absolute roughest. It's somewhat terrifying. Oh my gosh. It really felt like I was gonna hit my head there on the actual track. These are the rougher they really throw you around these small ones. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I think a lot of people start out on these thinking they're easier. But actually they're oh my gosh. They're much rougher and I think they probably probably scar you for life. And you don't want to go on a bigger roller coaster because these thrash you around so much and you think it's equivalent when you get on a bigger one that it would thrash you around like this, but it's actually a lot easier the bigger ones. Oh my God, this, oh my God. Oh, Rapid Rudy's Transit. Oh, look at Raymond the Alf. He has a nice little beard. Check out these dinosaurs right here. According to that sign over there, this is a Rudy-saurus a half Rudolph, half dinosaur, and this is a penguanodon, half dinosaur, half penguin. Hmm. Now we see all these reindeer themed rides, reindeer themed attractions, but here in the reindeer rendezvous, we can see some actual reindeers. All right, we got some carrots here to feed the reindeer. Let's see if Comet here is hungry. Hey Comet, how are you doing? How are you doing buddy? You want a carrot? Oh, jeez. You like biting carrots. You like biting fingers? Here's your... Oh, my gosh. Let's see if we can... Oh, my gosh. He loves carrots. They're like candy. I'm, a, I'm afraid he's gonna bite my finger off. <laughs> Good reindeer. Love your beautiful antlers there. Got all the other reindeers of note. Vixen, Prancer, Dasher, Dancer. There actually is controversy on what the actual names of the deer are. There are several versions of the poem. Yeah, I believe the controversy is whether or not it's Donner or Donder. Is it Donner or Donder? Leave a comment in the comment section. Hey Donner slash Donder. I have a tube ride down this hill called YouTubing. <laughs> Unfortunately it's temporarily closed and if uh, and if the other YouTube was closed that would be that would be even more disastrous. Well, there's Quantum the elf and he's wearing a college hat. So thank you for joining me here today at Santa's Village in New Hampshire. A wonderful park. Love this park. and Love the uh, newly renovated Great Humbug Adventure. Always good to see a, a fresh new dark ride out there to experience. Uh, if you like these videos, consider checking out uh, some other videos on this channel. I've been to the 48 Continental. United States filming roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. Also, if you subscribe, that will let you know when new videos arrive. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month. Also, we're now selling a new dark ride themed enamel pin. That is in the description as well. All that just helps keep this train on the tracks, this boat 
in the water and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this once in the bag.